The great thing about being here at Comic-Con is the previews you get of shows that are coming in the future and in the spring of 2020, you will see Snowpiercer, which is a crazy concept for a, a new show. Explain Snowpiercer. I'm going to start with Jennifer Connell. Explain Snowpiercer. Oh, wow, I get the big question. <laughs> Explain Snowpiercer. Okay, well, um, it's based on a graphic novel. Um, there's also a film called Snowpiercer, so for fans of the film, uh, I think you'll love the show as well. Um, basically, the show begins a little over seven years after a um, catastrophic climate event, mm -hmm. and the remains of humanity are all on this train circling the globe, trying to ride out this um, basically ice age that we're we're in. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a story of um, the survivors trying to survive and, uh, and find their way. And the well, big I, deal I, is, I, you know, by the way, great job, great well, job. It's like a half hour sitcom. I yeah. <laughs> is everybody good with that? Um, with music. With music. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, because also the train is separated into different classes mm -hmm. and everybody is living in different classes. So what class are you in? It's tough to tell amongst us who's in the first. And who's <laughs> right. I <know. laughs> yeah, uh, I play Andre Layton, who uh, is is in the the tail, which is the the lowest of classes on the trains, all the way in the back of the train. It's the projects a, of the train. The projects, but it's actually uh, even it's sub projects. These are people who um, didn't have tickets at all and who forcibly boarded the train um, in an, an effort to save their lives at the end and sort of. Uh, through mercy of the engineer, were allowed to live in the last few cars on the train in exchange for labor. So they live as long as they work. Wow! How about everybody? And it's like bunk beds that are yeah, yeah. bunk I mean, beds. Like the last Australian we're, we're has a half there. a bunk bed. Actually, Pike's bed is pretty pretty sweet. You traded it, <laughs> <laughs> but it's crowded back there. So now, from what I understand, you guys have already sh are starting to shoot season two, right? So what is that like? We will be. We'll, yeah. We haven't started yet, but we'll be starting in the in the fall. In the fall. That's way out in front, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Is it one of those things where you're like itching? Can we go? Can we start? Can we put it on? I was just yeah, asking yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah. so what's going on, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, we got to get it written first, so give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got the uh, got uh, seven great writers hard at work now. We've been at it for uh, almost a couple months. Mm -hmm. We'll start shooting in October uh, this year. We've seen images. Are you going to give us any more than images? Come on. Yeah. Images only. <laughs> That's it. That's all. Okay. No all right. sound. No it's sound. a silent TV show. Yes, it's groundbreaking. Silent TV. How has Comic Con been for you guys? And I know Jennifer, you've been here before. Right? I have been here before. Yeah. I actually love coming here, um, and my husband is here today too. So it's sort of a oh. family affair. Okay, yeah, yeah. He's here for some Avengers things, yeah. um, and uh, I love coming here. It's really fun. Yeah, my kids are here. I'm gonna yeah. go look around. First time. First time. First time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you walked the floor yet? Not yet. What do you th What do you think so far of what I, you see? I can't wait. And that poster is insane. It's insane. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. First time. First time. Yeah. yeah. This one. I've been to the one in New York, That's which is different. Like yeah. It's very different. Yeah. 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 It's the original. Yeah. The turf yeah. war about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this one is crazy. Um, by the way, David, I want to help you out because I know you are, are doing social media for another channel. Oh, but yeah. it's okay. You can go ahead and pull out your phone what? and you can take a picture. Do your work and do all your right. thing. All right, all right, all right. Do your thing. Go ahead. Get all right. What, uh, all right, TBS, Insta Story. Let's go. <laughs> get an Insta we're, Story. We're going to be going live pretty soon on, on the TBS Instagram page, probably, <laughs> if they let me, because they never should have gave me the password. <laughs> I know. <don't. laughs> don't mind that ET logo in the background. <laughs> um, one of the big deals here this week has been the release of the Top Gun trailer, Jennifer. What did you think? I think the trailer looks amazing, yeah. I have to say. Um, I... For me, every part of um, the project has exceeded my expectations. You know, watching the trailer, being on the set, you know, uh, my experience of shooting, it's been phenomenal. When you say that, people are already excited, so now they, it really ramps up the excitement. I'm like, excited. Are you? <laughs> yeah. It was great. I was excited to be part of it. Um, what they were filming was extraordinary. Um, I'm excited to see what, how, how it comes together, but I, I, it's, what I saw was amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's awesome. David, you're a musical guy. Got to ask you just one interesting question. 
a lot of buzz here and a lot of things that people have been talking about is this Crazy Cats trailer. Have you seen <gasps> it? And you're th oh, wow. Oh, hey, hey, yeah, yeah, go yeah, ahead, please. Mean, please, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I, I, I promise Lena has a much deeper connection to Cats. <laughs> <than> <laughs> <I do. laughs> But it looks dope. I don't, you know, Andy, Andy choreographed that thing. Like Andy, Andy Blankenbuehler was was our choreographer on Hamilton. So I, it was the the dancing looks beautiful. Obviously, the the music is stunning, and they this dancing cats. What's 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 the whole premise of that thing is pretty. You can't really sync it, right? Do you like <laughs> do you like dancing cats? Dancing cats. <laughs> Depends who you're talking to. Yeah, I, I, I want to hear. I, I did the show. It was my first Broadway show I ever did. So I was actually in the show. I played Demeter, which is the character that Taylor Swift's playing. Yes. And so I was like, I was like, they're gonna do the movie because they did one that was like, it was basically the show, but they filmed it, which like in '98 or something. And so I was wondering what it was gonna look like, and it's it is interesting. Ah, it's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> oh, shots yeah. fired. Yes. But I was like, what? I, I couldn't. Like, I was like, what am I looking at? I can't quite understand it. It takes a couple watches to really understand what's going on um, as far as what you're looking at with the CG, right? Physically, the cats Physically. are very interesting. The, yeah. yeah, but the dancers look incredible oh, really? and like it'll be fun to hear everybody sing the music and, and of course like Jennifer Hudson's going to sing the crap out of mm. memory, yeah. you know, anything she sings is going to be amazing. But, uh, I mean, Taylor Smith's a Swift can't hold a candle to you. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I'm, I'm not going to start any kind of nah, no, I, I said that. that. I said that. I said <laughs> that. I'll say it. You said, Taylor Swift, where you at? See Lena downstairs. <laughs> um, I heard... <laughs> Don't worry, I got you. <laughs> oh, my God. I heard that your sets are so crazy on this show and that often you get lost and sometimes you end up in a different class instead of the class you're supposed to be in because it's just, it's crazy. How, how are the sets on this thing? I got lost all the time. Do you? Yeah, yeah it was, people would find me wandering around and I'm like, where's the set? <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Even it's, months into it, I was still getting lost, which is kind of pathetic. But, Snowpiercer is um, 1,001 cars long, yeah, and we yeah. only built like 982 of them. <laughs> but I think they'll all be finished come October. Yeah, 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 for season two, I think you can. I gotta say I the thing that threw me off, sorry. No, 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 go ahead. I was just gonna say is, I didn't, I think, I don't, I don't think we were given the heads up of the movement of the train. So I know the first day of shooting, you got your words, you're all ready to act, <laughs> action, and the thing started to do this, and I just went blank. I forgot everything. I forgot my lines. I didn't realize the motion of the train. Also oh, yeah. really noisy. Like a and noisy. squeaky. Yes, like a squeaky. squeaky. So that's all going on while they're while you're trying to shoot. You're yeah. getting the rocking and the noise yeah. and sort of like there's walking several on the plane. big grips outside yeah. rocking the train up and down every every time and they're just on rubber wheels and the train cars move so everybody's lurching at You're the constantly same time. sort of in having to walk like the, you know mm -hmm. on an airplane when you sort of hold up top. Yeah. It sort of threw me off. The it's first. got that the the great thing about the show is like David said 1,001 cars long, so you never know what's going to be in the next car. You go through a door and you can find anything in that train car. It's one of like the beautiful things about the movie that we really brought to the show. So that's why we get lost. Suddenly, yeah. there's a new car. Yeah, yeah that's what I was going to say. It's some, you know, to that effect that it was so incredibly rich the design of the train in that its complexity. I mean, I think that. You know, all of humanity is on this train, including all, not only all of humanity, all of the animals that were left on the, that are being saved, all of the plants that are being saved. Mm -hmm. So you have all of these ecosystems that are being preserved on this train. And um, so the diversity in the cars um, and the different classes of the cars and the way it's been realized is so full and I thought really beautiful. So it's Noah's Ark on rails, exactly. mm -hmm. right? Yeah. My character rides a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. But it's, it's fun. <laughs> the picture we see of you, Jennifer, is in uh, looks like what is a uniform sitting mm -hmm. up front, very ooh, officer-like. Yes. What can, you, what, can you, what can you tell us about that picture? Very warm and friendly. Yeah. No. no. Far from warm and no, friendly. No, she's. Uh, I play Melanie. She's the head of hospitality. So yes, she wears a uniform, um, and uh, she's very crisp. And her job is she is in charge of smooth relations on the train, and she is there to be the the voice of Mr. Wilford, who is the engineer of the train, um, and to make sure that his order is maintained. The hmm, hospitality. 
So, that, you know, Julie McCoy comes to your mind when you think of the hospitality, the person handling all the hospitality and helping keep everything going straight. Now, meanwhile, David, Lombo we reference. see you, great coach, looking rough and rugged and ready to just go at somebody or like there was some kind of confrontation happening in that picture. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why they didn't take any pictures of me from the show. That was just how I showed up <laughs> <laughs> at work. But, um, it's, yeah, no, Leighton is, um, it's rough times in the, in the tale. Um, and Leighton gets, gets the opportunity to come forward and explore the rest of the train because he's, he's, he's pulled up to do a job. Mm -hmm. um, and I think he's constantly confronted with this, this linear class structure that, you gotta remember, everybody in the tale hasn't seen. They've been stuck in these last cars for seven years. They haven't seen any of the rest of this. Hasn't seen daylight in seven mm. years. So it's a... Um, there's some interesting psychology going on with uh, with the class structure on this on this train, right? They just sort of the not, imagine not seeing outside yeah. for seven years. What does that do to a person? And then what does it do when you're forced to all of a sudden work in an environment where everybody gets that, where that is that is a right that you have not been given, and now you have to help these people. Mm. All right. So when will we see a trailer? Today. Today? What? Yeah. You will drop the trailer today. Today. <gasps> <laughs> oh. At the panel, and then I think they're dropping it wide, yeah. All right, what will we see in that trailer? Because obviously this will air for us on Monday. It's going to kick Top Gun's ass. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> Best trailer at Comic-Con. <laughs> it's coming out today. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Tell you. Tom Cruise, Thanks Graham is in the here. lobby right now. <laughs> Rock, Hard Rock Tom. Hotel. Tom, come see him. <laughs>